right guys, so it's time to get cracking on this road to boost thing once again. As you know, we left off on part two on the white truck uh, after basically test fitting the intercooler and the blower and doing the passenger side piping. Then we got uh, blocked by the battery and the ECU on the driver's side. So now we're gonna start all over, this time with the red truck. So road to boost part one, welcome. And um, yeah, as I said in the introduction, we are going to be relocating the battery. That's the first order of business. Um, I ordered a Dorman uh, battery tray that goes in the firewall passenger side. It's where the second battery goes for the diesels. That way I can free up the space and we can relocate the battery and DCU and get finished on this. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And then without further ado, let's go pick this thing up and I will be providing part numbers. So you guys know uh, which battery tray to use because you're trying to do the same thing. But yeah, six so nice and running as you know, and um, time to get boosted. Let's go guys. And we have arrived, O'Reilly Auto Parts. Let's go ahead and see what this tray looks All like. All right guys, so here we are, part number 00085. It's part number for the battery tray. Of course, we're gonna test fit it, so none of you guys go ahead and order a battery tray that does not work. So here it is. Once again, this goes out in the firewall area, so let me get it out real quick. And there's a truck that is all popped for you guys, so I can show you where it goes. And here is the battery tray. This is the bottom part of it, this right here is the top, and it actually goes like that. So as you can see, the battery goes in between this tab right here and that one. These bolts bolt up to the firewall. And this little thing right there is that little nub that secures the battery in place. Of course, it's made in China. And we'll walk over here to the truck. It's gonna go right over here. Um, we got a better angle on this. Right there, right where this factory battery tray, battery tray is at. Of course, we're gonna have to take this out right here and a couple of factory bolts, like one, two, three, four, and the one back here somewhere, right there. Oh man, uh, it shouldn't be hard to take out. Uh, there's another bolt right here. So I'm gonna have to move the reservoir fluid thing and then take out that factory piece and we'll be good to go. So then I'm gonna take it to Audio Lab because I don't, I don't wanna deal with um, battery cables, just a pain. So here's the battery, uh, you know, positive, negative. We're gonna have to make them longer so it can fit over there. And yeah, I think that's about it. So that's the plan. We're gonna put this over there. That way we can get, uh, here, let me get a different angle. That way we can get the pro charger piping in through there. So you can see the ECU is in the way. So we're gonna go ahead and move that where the battery was at. Cause the pro charger is, I don't know if you guys watched the other video. I'm gonna link it right now. It sits right here. So then the pipe has to go in through here and up to the pro charger. Obviously that wouldn't work. So this is what we're doing, all this relocation stuff. This does not mean that the pro charger doesn't fit. Um, obviously when you buy it from pro charger, it has some little brackets. The intercooler typically goes under there somewhere in the bumper and piping goes around on both sides. But I want a front mount. Um, I mean, I don't even know why because you probably won't even be able to see it with um, this grill. But whatever, you know. Um, this was originally for the white one, which had an exposed grill. It would look so sick. But yeah, guys, uh, let's get to it. Let's get to removing the battery tray and uh, putting the new one in. Uh, make sure it fits. And then if it does, then you guys know which battery tray to get. Then we're going to go ahead and hop on over to Audio Lab and get it installed. And that will be it for Road to Boost Part 2. Um, thankfully, we shouldn't really be waiting on any more parts. Everything's pretty much here. So, you know, I have the injectors. I've got the fuel pump. Just got to put it on and... Um, Tune for G injectors, so I can tow it over. I don't even have to do it, actually. I have to tow it over to Cunningham. But yeah, guys, without further ado, let's move on. All right, guys, so here's our toolbox and our power tools. And I think it's a 13 millimeter wrench. There's our flow form wheels for the RCF. Drag setup, it's gonna be a separate video. May or may not be up by the time I upload this one. So yeah, that's a 13. We're good on that. Let me see down here. It's a 13 as well. 
that's gonna be something small like an eight cool this will be super quick i'm assuming and um yeah audio lab is very busy right now so jose with the 2014 gmc is gonna be helping me relocate the battery cables got a battery kit is what he got i guess um but it has like top posts so i don't know what i'm gonna do yeah, let's take this off real quick more down here All right, one of these was a bit stubborn so I'm gonna have to use sorry about that the long extension so let's go ahead and get it out mm, there you go all right so everything is a 13 millimeter except for this one where the socket is on and this one as well then everything should come out Oh yeah, and that one down there, the gun doesn't make it, so I'll just be using a regular wrench. No, no, ratchet. Yeah, that's right, ratchet. And I forgot to mention that there was a bowl on this side right here as well. I already took it off, but it should be ready to go. So, yeah, well, let's talk to the phone. So we're going to put it up against the new one, and then we're going to compare and contrast. It's like small. All right, guys, so the one on the left is the stock one. The one on the right is for the batteries. You can see much, much bigger. Um, let's throw it on real quick. I guess there's really not too much to look at. All right, guys. So getting this all the way in is proving to be a little difficult. Um, yeah, uh, I'm gonna have to wiggle this off camera. But yeah, I just wanted you guys to know it's a little, little hard. All right, guys. There it is. As you can see it mounts up right on the tray, bolts up. It's nice and secure. There's a stock one over there. Of course, this one isn't connected yet. I have to order the the cables and have Jose help me do it because I'm not good at anything electrical. In case you guys didn't know that. But yeah, hopefully we can get the CCU out of the way. Get the piping through there and get going on that supercharger. And who knows how long it'll be until we have a tuning appointment. So not too worried. We have the RCF over there. In case this one's not running so yeah um next portion of the video is going to be jose being over and uh, helping us install the new battery cables and then that'll be it for this portion of the build all right there jay right, is get to the players I don't need you to there's a little work table and there's a before and after for the alternator wire quite a big difference i'd say and uh yeah, there's the big ground and stuff, but we'll finish the rest right now. Although there are guys, power and a ground all the way back, the fuse box. We're pretty chilling. Alright guys, so one more look. Um, there's the wire, got it from Sky High Audio, zero gauge. I'll link it below. And big three, basically, you're gonna have one wire down there, you can kinda see it. That goes to the block and to the, from the chassis to the battery. It should, okay, sorry, let me restart that. It's got two grounds, one from the chassis to the battery, one from the block to the battery, but as you can see, the wire is super thick, so arm from the chassis to the battery, oh, sorry, chassis to block, block to battery. And then obviously the power is going to go from here, which is also where we did a wire for the alternator. Much, much better than stock. And now everything's running nicely. We did the ECU right over here. We'll try to make a little plastic cover for it, secure it nicely, but it's where the old battery was at. It used to be right here, which is bad because that's where the pro charger inlet comes out and that's where our pipe's gonna go, but that's what it is guys. So yeah, uh, Sky High Car Audio, I'm gonna put the link below. That's where I got my wire and terminals. I got 15 feet of power wire and 10 feet of uh, ground wire. And then just like the terminals, I think it came with like 10 of them. And yeah, that's it guys, thanks for watching and next videos will be uh, operation boost I guess should be like a two-part video just a tuning video 
and yeah it'll be nice and running so super excited for that i know you guys have been waiting for that thanks for watching make sure to click the link below on my amazon store i'll see you guys next time